But if anybody can do three huge visionary future companies, I suppose it's Elon Musk. Look, he is great at making things that people don't think could ever happen happen. People are actually building hyperloops because he talked about the idea. So if we can do if this can be done, he can probably orchestrate it. Uh, I guess my question would be, uh, and Ryan, maybe weigh in on this. What would co what would comprise getting something done or doing something in this area? Is it just to kind of you know back some of the ongoing deep research into the area? He's talking about an actual product at some point. Um, what's the uh, what's the relative need for this anytime soon? So first of all, I think this is what we all wanted, right? I think that um, to watch entrepreneurs or technologists go over and tackle these what I'd call moonshots with with these uh, aggressive funds and a lot of experience in getting stuff done, that's what we've all been hoping for. And you've seen it with Sean Parker, who's done a lot in cancer. You saw Brian Johnson, the Braintree founder, work on something called Kernel. Um, we don't know a lot about our brains. I mean, you're seeing this with NFL studies. We don't know, we all have one. Um, we're all worried about productivity, not to mention all the healthcare benefits that are gonna come out of this. This is awesome. I wish more people were doing this. Is this a difficult thing to raise money to do, Henry? I mean, is, are we reaching a point where the pitches get so outlandish that investors are nervous about committing? I don't know where they are, and Neuralink is, I mean, it depends, but uh, there is a lot of money that goes into biotech research with 10-year payouts. There are a lot of investors who know how to do that. You stage it all the way along. It's not like you commit 500 million on day one. So there are ways to invest in this that make sense, and I'm sure that if they can follow that, they'll have to show progress along the way. I mean, I certainly get why a lot of these uh, kind of cutting edge companies and entrepreneurs, Ryan, are thinking in this way, because I think you can easily kind of view a day where the fact that we're kind of staring at this small thing in our hand and that you have to kind of communicate in this uh, in written form and basically it slows the process down. We're falling behind the actual capabilities of the technology. But then again, you know, Apple gets rid of a, of a earphone jack and, and people freak out. So how ready are we? I, look, it's all about the experience. We live in an experience world. We're in a new economy. And if the experience is good, people love it. If the experience is bad, um, consumers are ruthless. And we've seen this in the last month. So if we have a great experience, it'll go viral. Everyone will, everyone will jump on it. And it sort of ties in with uh, some of the things we heard out of F8. This week, Henry, right? Right. Questions of whether you can type with your mind. Facebook is talking about its own moonshots, and this is a direct brain interface, too. So, obviously, lots of folks out there are thinking about it. Facebook's example, people made fun of Twitter. They're like, Facebook is talking about mind computer melds. Twitter, we can't have editing tweets, so forth. But this is what you can do when you're making as much money as <laughs> Facebook is with its core product. You can invest money in moonshots that may or may not amount to anything. Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah, I think you here. also. Oh, Ryan, yeah, I ahead. think you also you also have founders who have the ability to to stay in and actually go after these moonshots, and that's a piece that that we have to consider. Is when you have Zuckerberg and you have founders who have a long runway, they can do great things. When they have a short runway, it's pretty tough for them to get stuff done. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.